Hey everyone, I'm Kyle and in this week's tutorial we're going to be talking about using rubber elements in your EV3 creations. Today we're going to have a whole tutorial uh, discussing different applications we have for rubber elements because uh, rubber, the rubber Lego elements have a lot of different cool properties that you can use uh, to your advantage when you're making your own EV3 creation. And now of course the most obvious is wheels because uh, the wheels have rubber that give them traction but we're not even going to discuss that because that's so obvious there are four other applications that you might use for rubber elements and we're going to look at examples of each the first one being using a rubber band as a kind of spring using that springy property to get a mechanism to return to a desired position the second being to add traction to a specific part of the robot that's not necessarily a wheel to allow it to grip onto something the third being a cushion to keep a part of your robot that's not mechanically secured down from shifting too much and the fourth being impact protection to protect one part of your robot from being damaged by a collision from another part of the robot using the rubber shock absorbing properties so with that being said let's take a look at some examples of each of them an example of using the springy property of a rubber element is using a rubber band as a type of spring to get a mechanism to return to a certain position and here you can see that's what I did in the grunt when I designed his little hand uh, the bottom finger if you will is attached to a rubber band which is uh, attached to a fixed point on his arm so when you squeeze the hand it stretches out the rubber band and then after you release the pressure on his hand the rubber band then pulls the the finger back which in turn opens up the entire hand again and gets it returned to to return to its original position so that's an example of making use of the springy nature of a rubber element to make a mechanism return another use of rubber lego elements is for their gripping quality and here you see that on the omnilander i used uh, those small two stud rubber damper elements on the front claw so when the claw comes down and it needs to make contact with the box the rubber is what makes contact with the box which has a lot more traction than just the the hard plastic so it gives the robot better grip on the box and allows it to climb over a little bit better so there's an example of using rubber elements for their traction you could use rubber elements as a cushion as you can see here with the Ventus battery pack it didn't quite evenly fit within the Lego modules so what I did is I used these same two stud rubber damper pieces and I placed them so that they squish a little bit when they're holding the battery pack but for the most part it cushions the battery pack and keeps it from sliding around inside of the robot as it walks there's an example of using rubber as a cushioning agent taking this even further and still using rubber's ability to be soft and squishy you could use a rubber element as impact protection and here this is my team's FTC robot from this year of course it itself is not made out of Lego but you could see that the rubber tire that we use as our impact protection was a Lego element and uh, we used the rubber here as impact protection because we had a large uh, frame uh, mechanism type thing whatever you may call it that came back and it would sometimes come back rather aggressively and slam into that that back part of the robot where all of the electronics are mounted so pr to protect that back part we added the rubber as a kind of a stop and it has the advantage of being squishy so it kind of absorbs that impact a little bit instead of transferring it all into that back beam and the electronics so there's an example of how you can use a rubber element as impact protection Thanks for checking out my video this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, leave it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.